Now the integration continues on the home screen. So let me walk you through some of what we have here. So let's go up to the top here to bookmarks. And what you'll see is that we have not only websites, bookmarks that we're, that we're familiar with traditionally, like for example Logitech.com, but we also have channels like ESPN. We have apps like Netflix and Vid, right? And we'll demo those for you too. So we have all of these three worlds, again, brought together for us in one easy to use, intuitive interface. <coughs> Let's go to most visited. Now for those of you familiar with Chrome, Chrome will help you track the sites that you visit most frequently. So it's really easy to find the sites that you love and to be able to navigate them to them in one click. Well, with Review and Logitech, you will be able to not only do that with sites, but also with applications and also with channels. Right? They're all there for you. So you can see the media player. That's an application. You can see the site that we just went to on YouTube. Right? We can see a few channels as well. Spotlight. So Spotlight and What's On <coughs> do a great job of helping us find amazing content online or great content from our broadcast provider. So in addition to being able to search for content, we can also surf for content as well through these two different sections. I have found a lot of great shows using these, these two features. Q. So Q helps me explore podcasts. Check out all these podcasts. There's thousands of them. Right? Web podcasts, audio podcasts, video podcasts. And I can bring them all to review at the click of a button. Right? I can just queue them up and watch them on my TV. Applications. Now, of course, review comes preloaded with a lot of apps, a lot of great apps that can pull in all kinds of great content for us. So let's take a look at some of these. So we have CNBC. We have the gallery. So we can have pictures not only on our phones and our PCs, but we can have those shared with our TV as well, where they're best viewed. We have Chrome, of course, where we can go to any site online. We have the help assistant in case we need a little extra assistance. We have the media player in Vid, and we're going to show you both of these in just a second. We have Napster, NBA Game Time, Netflix, Pandora, Amazon, right? And the list goes on. We have tons of great content, so when you get your hands on one of these, you're going to be very busy checking out all the great content we have for you. So we've talked about how these apps bring in all this content from great online sources and bring those to the best screen on our home. But you also want to be able to view content from personal sources, like, for example, a hard drive or a laptop. So I happen to have a laptop right here, and it's connected on the same network. You can do that uh, via Ethernet or via Wi-Fi. And all you need to do to view content on your laptop is simply to pull up our media player. So let's launch that. We're running the Twonky server right now. But it works with any DLNA server, so if you have Windows 7, for example, you don't need any additional software. We can go into our music. You pull up an album here, and it's just that simple to start listening to some content. And I know as I'm listening to this that I can continue to use my Logitech keyboard controller to so interface with all of my different devices. I don't need to pick up three or four different remotes. I can change the volume on my receiver, for example. Right? And I can change anything on my television, like my aspect ratio, or on my set-top box as well. Let's pause that. Go back to the main source of content here. So you can see that we are able to provide music and photos and videos. And one other really neat feature of the Logitech Media Player is that because it's part of Review and part of Google TV, you can search for anything. Right? So now I have this really powerful search that I can use for content on my laptop or content on a hard drive, USB hard drive. So for example, I'm going to search for a bridge. I have a picture of a bridge somewhere on that laptop. I'm not sure what folder it's in, but there it is. And all I need to do is click on it and pull it up. So with Review and Google TV, you really have the best of the web, the best apps, the best of broadcast, and the best personal media all brought to the best screen in your house, your TV. And because of the Logitech Harmony Link, you're able to leverage all this great functionality with your existing TV, your existing receiver, and your existing set-top box. So enjoy!